All right, where else can this go? Let's find out together. Over 12,000 years ago, Shinkoku Training Grounds. Deus. Starting today, I will be taking Yasha under my wing. Hm. Planning on making him more stubborn than he already is? I should not have put him under your care in the first place. Ha! My student versus your student. How about we put their skills to the test after their training? Huh? I doubt you'd be able to train him well, but why not? But Commander, I hardly think a hot-headed ruffian like him would ever be a worthy opponent. Come again? Hmm. Let's not jump to conclusions now. We shall see in time. One year later. So, 11,999 years later. Or earlier, sorry. Brother, where are you? Brother? Over here, Durga. There you are. Oh, and Asura's here too. You two really get along well, don't you? No, we don't. See what I mean? <laughs> the final battle lies just ahead. Asura closes his eyes. He sees visions of lost loved ones and the shadow of the one behind it all. It is time to keep his promise. Did the plant just get blown up? Was stolen from him. Vengeance is within his grasp. Brother-in-laws are the ultimate rivals. Yeah, they're the they're the rivals of real life. Huh, they're finally showing this. I think. Or at least they're at least highlighting it. I feel like that was in the background of an earlier level. There she goes again. She cries every time you leave the house. Oh yeah, he's back to being shirtless now. Asura's character arc is directly correlated. Yeah, correlative towards how many clothes he's wearing. The further, the less he has, the further along he is. <laughs> mm, how befitting of you. <laughs> right, Mithra? I will raise our daughter. You concentrate on making the world a safe place for her. You just do what you think is right. You're at your best when you're fighting for what's right. Please. Shirtless Asura means he's already part of the ranks? Yeah. And then when he gets the eyes, that means that it takes place in the present. A really well animated baby. Babies are usually pretty badly animated. Like babies and like cats and dogs tend to have terrible animation. Not in the sense that they're badly animated, but the fact that they don't capture the essence of that being a creature. Oh, see a panty zombie. Saying you don't get to see the ending because it's probably going to be the craziest thing anybody's ever seen in their entire life. But these things happen. Good luck killing Buddha. I will. I will take that luck. I need it. I don't think that many people have killed Buddha in the past. They did it again! This is the third title screen. <laughs> I 
This makes you want a triple-A game that looks like Jack Kirby art. That would be insane. That would be the wildest thing. It's totally possible nowadays, too. Alright, so I guess he's, his plan is to eradicate each planet one by one, perhaps. Yeah, I make the circle! Man. Really lucky that Astro is there in time to parry the plant annihilating blast. Just don't use Twitter. If there's annoying sonic clickbait, just don't use Twitter. <coughs> or block people. That's what I've been doing. If people are too annoying, just block them. Run this instructor. <laughs> oh, he's huge. Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, it's me, Goku. What a shot, yeah. Are they gonna show, yeah, they're gonna show everyone all these jokers. <laughs> like, oh, none of these characters have like an ounce of morality to them besides maybe Deus and obviously Yasha. <laughs> but, but no, they're all cheering him on now. They're all united as one. All these friends we made. <laughs> this rocket, okay. Oh, this music. Oh, he's throwing plants at me? Uh-oh. <laughs> Watch out for the planets, I guess. A lot of them. He's gonna smash everything, apparently. Very literally. on top of Asura's wrath. Oh, this is like a really like, so, like soft, beautiful rendition of the main theme.
Oh, wait. Is he still that small? Compared to that one of these planetoids? How big is this thing that's being thrown at him? How big is Buddha? Oh, now he's throwing stuns at me. I guess that's the next step, isn't it? See, how has Dragon Ball Z gone on so much power scaling and not have ever had anything like this? How do you make your characters that strong and still don't have anything on this scale? Man, you can barely feel them burning a trillion dollars per second making this. No, you can't dodge those. Those are planet busters. They might hit Earth. So, like, is his overall plan to just test Astro's combat skills, and that's the way to prove that he's worthy of leading people on the right path? Oh my just noticed my blasts are oil colored too. Oh, it's like the, the Emperor's son. You know, when he shoots the blue flares that stay still versus the, the orange ones that home in on you. Oh jeez. It's such a good thing that they showed how big Earth was relative to Astra first to get a sense of what this scale actually is and how obscene that is. People could be living on Astra. Event Horizon. Now we're on Tekken 7 stage? You mean the salt flats, right? Oh man, I insert recent game here. What, like Kingdom Hearts 3 perhaps? You are indeed the one to inherit this world. Gaia must be led by one of its own. Now we will become a perfect being. I may now rule this world and save other worlds in need of my guidance. Come and 
There, you got everything you wanted. What a nice god. Father. All you have to do is do exactly what they, what they want, and it all worked out. This is just like Final Fantasy XV. Now, which hand will Asura use for the handshake? Yeah! I refuse! How dare you fight me? I will destroy <laughs> you and your so called world! There's something that tickles me about a god on this scale grabbing their nose, like, oh, I've got a bloody nose! Oh, oh. That smarts! Probably should have secured Mithra first, then did the punch. Yeah. No. Ah. Oh shit. Well, something time something happened here. These look like different suns yet again. These have little black edges. They're smaller though, they're easier to dodge. Wait, they're using the sun to fire lasers. <laughs> so actually, I just realized these oily explosions have the same texture as spirits in uh, World of Light and Super Smash Bros. So I really wonder how much of this mythology is just flat out being used by Sakurai in Smash Bros. lore. God, these transitions are so sick. Oh, I'm gonna return a whole bunch of them now. Here's that swing. 
Well, that's fancy. Whoa, okay, that's a lot. It's going to be more noise in it now. Okay, wrong move. Oh, I'm in unlimited mode. Whoops. Whoop, oh, okay. Away I go. God, those face scrunchers are so good. I dodged through those. Still basically the same fight, just more stuff. Man, getting those animations to look like must have actually been really difficult to get the kind of anime stretch style that they've got going. Those orbs can come out right in front of you if you're not careful. Getting used to sounds associated with mech anime. I mean, it makes sense, I think. It seems like it has a lot of mecha influence. I feel like the only faces that m melt more when being punched are faces in Punch Out for the Wii. Oh no! The Aura Aura Clash! It finally happened! Alright, I have one fist left, right? That's plenty. Oh, I got two, okay. That's more than enough. Whoops. Oh shit. <laughs>
Yeah, you totally see him dropping pretense. It's really good. Making gods angry is very fun. And it's an important message to keep in mind during this most holy of months, Pride Month. I mean, if you didn't want to be arrogant, you probably shouldn't have made one of your mantra pride. So is this a black hole or a big bang? Oh, that's, a, that's really cool. I didn't notice the face. The half skull. I think you're gonna lose some arms, Asura. Just a, a thought. Hey, randomly Tino guy, how's it going? Sorry if I've missed anyone else popping in. It's hard to keep an eye on the chat while having to do these QTEs. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what. I'm... Oh. Okay, he can, he can parry in the stop time. Good. That's uh, you're doing pretty good for this overwhelming power, honestly. Oh, this is so cool. Like, this is just such a- so far removed from the aesthetic of everything else in the game, it's so rad. Oh no! The world! Okay, so he can he can hard counter me if I'm in the air by just having some knives. Hmm. It's cool how you can you can see it coming because of the reflection. That's really cool. Ah, no. Whoa.
Yeah! I love this new QTE. It's really satisfying. It's just a match, but it's so cool. So I feel like I'm still doing these QTEs right, but it's just so overwhelming that it still gets hits in, basically. Oh, whoops. I gotta be using the heavy attacks. No! God, Astro is taking so much of a beating that he's practically black without going into black mode. No, I missed two. Damn it. There we go. Got one in at least. This, this literally feels so desperate. It's really cool. Asura is finally like way out of his element, it seems, but he's actually doing it. It reminds me of like a super boss, legitimately like, but the actual like gameplay reality of a super boss where they're so much stronger than you, but you can just, if you just dodge their stuff and get hits in, you can win. Wait, is that- is he dodging me? What's going on? No! Oh! Oh, I almost got through it. I really want to see what happens when I go through it, though. I'm almost at burst, though. It's unfortunate. Hey, I did it! Hit him! Ah! Oh, there we go. I missed my chance though for an, a finisher. So wait, you can punch again? Did he just break his fingers with his jaw? Just be trying to stop the punch from completing. <laughs> Alright, so that was pretty rad. I got two achievements for it, so I'm assuming this must be the, close to the end. Asura himself has seen better days. This ends now. Wait, what? 
What was that? Hmm? Should I... Hmm? I'm... Is this trying to trick me? Do I have to press buttons to go along with those symbols? Hold... Mm. Ah! Uh-oh! At least it's still color-coded. No, okay, I keep I keep thinking that the buttons are sticks and, and vice versa. Uh-oh. Wait, are these his quick time events? I could not stand it. How is this game so much cooler than all the other video games? Oh, he failed. There is always some fool who wants to rule the world. It's just like that famous song. Always forcing others to do what they cannot do for themselves. That is so- he finally did it! He finally got a good one-liner in! He did it! All these quick time events led up to this! Or a garland wrath? I mean, maybe. I don't think Garland has a daughter. I don't. I think that if Garland had a daughter, he might be too powerful. Best dead game, absolutely. There's no, no contest. Like, what? What's your your dad game competition? God of War. Like, the only thing that I guess could compete is maybe near. Oh, wow, this is slow. I need a lot of wrath, apparently. There we go. Now we're wrathing.
always act so recklessly. <laughs> to see you suffer. Stupid. <laughs> no more crying. Smile. My wrath is finally Man, this game is incredible. Durga. I'll be home. Now it's only Asra's. Yeah, he's at peace. You might even say he achieved Nirvana. Man, this is all being rendered in real time too, I guess. It's all got all those jaggies, so it's definitely not an FMV unless it's a very high quality one. He's really slowing those last lines. Yeah, I mean, Liam O'Brien is a fantastic voice actor. I have never heard him give a bad performance. Like, fittingly enough, he's a, a really, he really sells the last lines in Nier as well. Like, he's just really good. An impressive amount of particles for a seventh gen game. Yeah, this thing when, whenever they made a seventh gen game in a very controlled environment, they uh, like where they could just really specifically cheat with what they could get away with, then it would look great. Like I said at the like the start of this, like one of the earliest streams in the, of this, I think, either the first one or the second one. But at some point, I mentioned how like Final Fantasy thirteen looks amazing and like uh, um, I was watching a stream of Bioshock and like they were talking about how that really holds up too like if you just really control what the player can see 7th gen games look great it's just that the 7th gen was defined by so many open world games that really stretched those 500 megabytes of RAM they had to work with oh I thought for a second this is going to turn into a shooter with her <laughs> you can like move her around shoot the credits or something It's doubly impressive that this was made with Unreal 3. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, 7th Gen just didn't have good engines. Viva Pinata also still looks beautiful. Really? That's interesting. I guess, yeah, as long as you go for style, it's going to look good. Just by default. This music's really beautiful, too. Like... The nothing can really come close to Yasha's theme because it was used so well. Like man, this DLC, it, like it may be a ripoff, but man, getting to experience it after the fact, where I get all of this for like under ten dollars, that was really good. Oh yeah, now I can kind of see it how they're cheating with this. If you look closely, the the particles are. 2D images that are just being moved around. 
is not a bunch of individual particles, it's a big image of particles. The, the, the hypothetical Kingdom Hearts 3 in 7th gen sounds vile, yes. We dodged so many bullets by having no PS3 Kingdom Hearts games in retrospect. They at least make it feel like your money was worth it. I mean, yeah, this game is insanely expensive. I've said this mo so many times now across the stream, but like, the, the animation in those two DLC episodes, the interludes, the animation in the actual game itself, like, that's the thing, like, there's so few reused assets, it's all just constant new animations. So it was must have cost a fortune to make. Who knows if they ever turned a profit even with this DLC. Yeah, and there's still the Street Fighter DLC, it's true. Is a post credit scene? I assumed. You unlocked Balafor in the Fiend Arena, she destroyed you. Oh, you mean in Final Fantasy X 2? Yeah, the Aeon fights in that are meant for, like, late game. Not They're not dark Aeon level late game, but yeah, they're, they're not, like, something you just do right away. Crystal Tool is Kingdom Hearts 3, something like a match made in hell? Absolutely. <laughs> Without a doubt. <laughs> The Dark Aeon fights in 10 sound like nightmares. Yeah, they're basically just big stat grinds. They're too strong to beat when you first encounter them and you have to just get more stats so that you can fight them like they're normal Aeons. The saving grace of the Dark Aeon fight is that you just can use Zanmado to end them immediately. That's the real power. Oh, I mean, I feel like the game speaks for itself, though. Like, I can't really say anything like... Those, the, the very bit at the end where the boss started having its own QTEs was so good, and how they used it failing QTEs to show how overwhelmed it was becoming. Like, that's... like that, I think that's the thing that I really love about this game, is that it is peak gameplay story integration. In the fact that it, all of its mechanics are used to, to express a plot point at some point. Like, the part where the QTE fades out before you can do it, when Asura realizes that Yasha has that big gaping chest wound. And, like, the fact that they make the, the cutscene music come in for that flashback fight where they're all, fl like, flying. And, like, it's just, it's so stylish, but also so thoughtful. Like, it's just really excellent. Like, ah, oh, I'm so glad I finally played this. And a pox upon all those people from 7th gen who complain about this game being bad. All that bad faith criticism can go to hell. Every 7th gen action game got lack of time brings only five types of enemies, extreme padding, in repeated rooms. I mean, that's the thing. This game has that, but you only fight like maybe 20% of the time in this game, so it doesn't really matter. Like, they stopped introducing new enemies like halfway through, but who cares? Because that's not what you're there for.
they had to tell us it presented by Capcom twice so that we're ready for the upcoming Street Fighter DLC. Now, if there's a re-release with actual real sound effects and not from a stock website, that'd be great. No, that's part of the, the style for sure. Like there's tons of real sound effects going on, but when they use powers, they use these stock sound effects and that has to be intentional. The swings and stuff like that. Yeah, remember the humans? They kind of vanished from the story after a while. The stock anime sound effects enhance the experience. Yeah, I think I agree. And that. Oh! Is she the one who taught the humans how to speak English? And that is the story of Asura's wrath. Hell yeah. Oh, a be on time. I broke the curse a little bit. Wait, is that a modern city? I see a blimp. Is that the not Statue of Liberty? Is that the Astro and Wrath of Liberty? 870 million years later. Father. Ah! Heavy set man. Ugh. Mother. What in the world? Are you insane? Father. This guy doesn't know how to pick on someone his own size. N no, she's so tiny, I didn't see her. I just bumped into her, it was an accident. Wow, daddy, you're so cool. <laughs> now nah, look what you've done. You th she thinks fighting is cool. S sorry. Wait, what? <laughs> Police woman. <laughs> okay, so Capcom. Confirms, right here. Street Fighter takes place 870 million years after Asura's wrath. Sir, you can't ride that speed at that speed through here. This is a pedestrian zone. Old man, I, d I don't think I'm going very fast at all. I don't have time for idiotic security guards. Get out of the way. Excuse me? I'm just doing my job trying to keep people safe. And what you're doing is not safe at all. Safe schmafe, I'm out of here. Ah, hold up. It's not even dangerous on- it's even more dangerous on the road. Oh, and Sergei became a model. Confirmed. <laughs> and CyberConnect got a giant billboard. Denser, work it, huh, yeah. You all are so lucky to be here and see my dancing. Be grateful you were born in this generation. I'm just kidding. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. I love you all. The world is beautiful. Man. Ah. Uh, we uh, is a... Uh, oh, I don't... Mmm. <laughs> Japanese fudo. Whoa, cool kimono. Could I get a picture with you? Ah, <laughs> uh, he's speaking too fast. I can't understand a damn word he's saying. Where in the hell can I find a Japanese restaurant? I'm starving. Of course they all reincarnate. Well, yeah, no, they have to reincarnate. Take a drink. Boss, 
we don't have much time before the meeting starts. There's an old man over there having trouble crossing the street. I can't just stand here and let that happen. But a boss will be late for the meeting. Enough. Don't make me repeat myself. Yo, Booba? Cover them up, slut. Look, Uncle's here. What are you doing here? This isn't even a spot we plan to meet at. You all were late, so I thought I you got lost or something. As usual, you worry too much. As usual, you look like you just got into a fight. Wait, is there gonna be another sequel hook? Ah, is that a meteor? It's a big one. Everyone take cover. It's coming fast. Is this such a common occurrence in this world? <laughs> the CG is very gay. I mean, I mean, has this whole game not been? <laughs> How to tell Astro's wife she's just appeared for Yasha? I mean, <laughs> it's a big one. Everyone take cover. It's coming fast. People all over the city. Ah! The other Kia! Get back! <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> All right, Capcom. The summer of games is coming up. You better be, you better be saving something for for us, Astro's Wrath heads. You'll handle it. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, that was great, but we're not quite done yet. 